Hello, welcome and thank you for tuning in. My name is Robert Kowal from the Research Campus Stimulate in Magdeburg, Germany. Today I would like to present to you our results on the applicability of flexible split coils at different field strengths. The type of coils we work on are special kind of loop coils with high flexibility in mind. Now conventionally, loop coils may be built by copper wire or strips with discrete capacitors along their circumference. Split coils, in contrast, get rid of these discrete elements by partially overlapping microstrips. These can be used now for the tuning and or matching. By this, we no longer have any rigid solder joints on the coil and thus can achieve a higher conformability on the patient surface. We have no longer the risk of failure by breaking, may have possibly increased image quality and an easier handling. Another point to address are the possibilities for different scalable manufacturing processes, such are printing or plotter cutting, and also an easier integration into fabrics like blankets, pillows, or even surgical drape, as was published in previous publications already. Now in this study, our goal was to prove the applicability of split coils at several clinical field strengths, here described as 0.55 up to 3 Tesla. The limits of the split coils are mainly related to the achievable tuning and matching by the overlapping traces. Now the design shown here to the right has a high freedom in terms of frequency adjustment using two regions of overlapping traces. One directly at the input port here marked in red and the other one directly opposite resulting in our distributed capacitance. Typical dimensions for usage and manufacturing have been chosen for the single channeled coil with a diameter of 13.5 cm, a trace width of 5 mm and a dielectric height of 0.1 mm. Standardly can be used a polymeat foil. The study was performed using full wave electromagnetic simulations and also validated by an exemplary built split coil. Now the comparison depicted here shows the input impedances of measurement and simulation and split coils characteristically feature an inductive path between two resonances which can be utilized. We achieve a high agreement of less than 2 MHz in the whole spectrum. The so next step the split coil model was loaded with a phantom and adjusted at a different field strength solely by changing the overlapping angle. For the exact values and other parameters, I would like to refer to our abstract. A successful adjustment is here now visualized by the reflection coefficient S11 for the 0.55, the 1.5 and the 3 Tesla coil. As a next step, now we take a look at the sensitivity profiles of each coil in the sagittal and the transversal plane. The coil is located on the upper edge and the border between air and phantom is visualized by the grayish line. The B1 plus distribution is normalized by a power of 1 watt and color coded in a logarithmic scale. The sagittal profiles feature symmetric penetration into the phantom and in the transversal plane we get a typical slightly asymmetric profile at higher frequencies closer to the coil. These profiles thereby show no unusual aspects due to the new design. And so we can conclude this study. It was shown how simulations of split coils can be used for design evaluation with high agreement to real measured data. The frequency responses and also the sensitivities profiles demonstrate similarities to conventional loop coils. And finalizing, the proposed split coil can thus be applied at various clinical field strength with greatly improved ability con to conform to the patient surface, possibly increasing image quality and improving handling. With this, I would like to thank you all for your attention and hope to see you all in the Q&A.